guys, it's your Taganay and welcome back to my channel. Yes guys, nagbabalik na naman po ako para sa isa na namang unboxing and review video. And this time, this is probably your most requested video dahil alam kong matagal nyo na itong inaabangan since the day that I posted this on my Instagram account. So, pag-uusapan natin ang bagong-bagong Huawei Mate Pad. Pro. At hindi lang yan guys, hindi lang po ito yung i-unbox natin. Of course, kasama rin yung kanyang mga accessories. We have the Huawei M Pencil and the Huawei Mate Pad Pro Keyboard. Yes, this is a 10.inch tablet. Actually guys, this is my first time na mag-review or mag unboxing ng Huawei tablet sa inyo. And as you guys seen sa ating thumbnail, ito na nga ba ang iPad Pro Killer. So we will answer that guys later on sa ating video. But for now, let me quickly unbox this Huawei MatePad Pro. So we have here the tablet itself. And let's see kung ano pa yung mga kasabang accessories sa kanya. Mm -hmm. So we have here a USB Type-C to USB-A cable. Of course, ito yung ating charging cable. And yung ating panundot na si Magector Tool. Nandito siya, nakalagay. And last but not the least, hindi ko po ito yung expect It comes with dongle. This is very perfect, especially if you want to use your wired earphones for zero latency, of course. Yung ating 20 watt charging brick. Yung ating tablet, let's remove the plastic already. Next, we have the Huawei M Pencil. Ooh. So, we have here, guys, the Huawei M Pencil. There's nothing actually much doon sa kanyang box but the pencil itself. And one thing that I really appreciate about this, guys, it comes with a spare pencil tip. If we were to compare it, guys, sa iPad Pro, actually, yung M Pencil, it doesn't come with this one. You have to buy it separately sa kanilang store for, I think, 1,200 pesos around that price range. So, in case lang naman, guys, na nabasag nyo itong M Pencil nyo, at uh, syempre, nabasag yung ating tip, you can change it with this one na uh, free na kasama sa kanya. And last but not the least, the Huawei MatePad Pro Keyboard. Oh, it's sealed. <laughs> So now that we finally unbox the keyboard, lagay na natin yung tablet. Ganun lang siya kadali guys, ipapatong mo lang. And of course, the M pencil. So the color that I have guys for the Huawei MatePad Pro is what we call Midnight Gray. Actually available pa siya in three different colors. We have the forest green and orange and yung kanyang finish is vegan leather actually. And then the third color is pearl white. Actually whatever color yung piliin nyo, pare-parehas pa rin naman sila ng weight. And it is actually 10 grams lighter than the 2020 iPad Pro na 11 inch. And the weight distribution on this tablet, saktong-sakto lang. And first impression ko sa kanya guys, when I first unbox this tablet, actually I really like the design. It's very premium. And when I turned it on, nagulat ako sa kanyang bezels. In terms of tablet, ito na yata yung pinakamanipes na bezels na nakita ko sa buong buhay ko. Meron siyang 90% screen to body ratio. So whenever I use this tablet, very pleasing yung pag ko sa kanya, yung paggamit ko dahil nga sa kanyang full view display. And the reason why we have again a 90% screen to body ratio, eh dahil nga guys, doon sa kanyang punch hole dito, na makikita nyo sa kanan. First time ko po makaka-encounter ng tablet na punch hole na yung ginamit. I really appreciate it kapag alam nyo na adapt na rin ng mga brands yung mga ginagawa nila sa smartphones to their tablets. And honestly guys, if you will ask for my opinion kung nababother pa ako sa punch hole display, hindi na. With all the smartphones na naglalabasan na may punch hole sa kanilang screen, it started to grow on me already as we saw this sa Huawei Nova 7i, sa Huawei T40 Pro, Actually guys, yung kanyang frame, it's made of magnesium alloy. Very sturdy naman siya. And hindi siya ganun kasakit hawakan. If we will compare it sa Apple na medyo flat-sided, ito naman curved yung sides niya. So medyo mas softer sa feeling. We have 16 by 10 wide quad HD with 2560 by 1600 LCD display. Kung curious kayo guys about its brightness, it can climb up to 540 nits. Although it only has 60 hertz refresh rate, guys, I didn't really notice it that much. Siguro dahil smooth pa rin naman siya, and I think it's because of its 
chipset na ginamit sa kanya and it is the Kirin 990. Siguro guys, the only thing na medyo na-disappoint lang ako ng konti is wala siyang fingerprint sensor. Though meron naman tayong face unlock and you can use um, passwords to this tablet. But syempre, nothing really beats the quickness and the security of fingerprint sensors. Now, comes time performance niya. Again, as I mentioned earlier, this has screen 990 with 6 gig of RAM. And this is the 4G model, by the way. Well, alam naman natin lahat, guys, na yung Huawei Stop SoC is a very capable performer. And that is very true, guys, for this Huawei MatePad Pro. Katulad ng review ko with the Huawei MateBook X Pro 2020, sabay ko lang actually silang in-unbox two weeks ago. Very impressive yung ating RAM management. We have a smooth animation. And wala rin ako na-experience na hiccups or lags sa mga 3D games na nilaro ko sa kanya. And of course, meron din po siyang 128GB of internal storage. If hindi po enough yun sa inyo, expandable naman to via NM card. And as we last saw this guys sa Huawei Media Pad, actually, nakalagay nga ito kanina if napansin nyo itong feature na to doon sa pinaka box niya. The Huawei Mate Pad Pro guys, it packs a quad speaker tuned by Harman Cardon. And yes, it really sounds loud and very clear, although manipis lang itong tablet na to. Now, let's quickly talk about yung kanyang cameras, guys. I know this is also a big deal, of course, sa mga bibili ng tablet because we sometimes use it for video calls and for work, ganyan. We only have one camera at the back na mayroong 13 megapixels f1.8 aperture. And then, for the front camera, we have 13 megapixels. Actually, in terms of tablet standards, magaganda naman yung photos na kinalabasan. For me lang naman, guys, I don't really use tablets primarily for taking photos, especially um, sa labas, like for example, concerts, or even taking selfies. Although, we all know naman na magang itong tablet na to. Actually, maganda rin naman siyang pang take ng photos. And then, for the front camera, as I said, earlier, we have 8 megapixels. It's very capable. Actually, it's capable of full HD, which is very good for video conferencing or video calls. Especially ngayon, usong-uso ang virtual meetings. And yes, this is the new norm. Medyo nagiging digital na talaga lahat. And then, I know you guys are also curious sa kanyang battery life. Actually, yung kanyang battery life, it's one of my favorite feature dito sa tablet na to. It has a huge 7,250 mAh battery capacity and since it has a less power-hungry LCD display with an optimized power management and to tell you guys, nagamit ko po itong tablet na to for two consecutive days without charging it. Although 20 watt power brick lang yung kasama sa kanyang box, it supports naman guys up to 40 watt fast charging. Actually guys, in terms of charging, if we will be using yung kasamang 20 watt power brick sa kanya, halos sa abot ng tatlong oras yung pag-charge bago ma fully charge so medyo matagal siya but since i have 40 watt power bricks nga at home it only takes 1 hour and 30 minutes to 2 hours to fully charge it anyway other feature that you guys must know it also supports 7.2 watt reverse charging actually i think unang beses ko lang yata narinig itong feature na to sa isang tablet so pwede niyo i-charge dito yung mga Huawei accessories niyo like the Huawei FreeBuds 3 or your Huawei smartphone na basta nagsusupport siya ng wireless charging. And the reason why guys, it comes with a dongle sa kanyang box. Baka lang po hanapan niyo siya ng headphone jack. It doesn't have one. Now, alam kong curious kayong pag-usapan yung mga accessories niya. Like again, the keyboard and of course, the M pencil. This smart magnetic keyboard guys, medyo, actually, pwede natin siyang i-compare doon sa keyboard ng iPad Pro. Isa siyang magnetic cover guys, na merong dalawang klaseng viewing angles, and it doesn't come with a trackpad. But, pwedeng pwede nyong i-connect yung inyong wireless mouse 
on this tablet. Now, I'm very excited guys na pag-usapan yung kanyang M Pencil. Yung kanyang Bluetooth stylus guys, very accurate and comfortable naman siyang hawakan. And you can connect it magnetically doon sa ibabaw ng tablet kung saan doon natin siya i-charge. Actually guys, one of my favorite features dito sa M Pencil, habang nakalock yung ating tablet, pwede natin siyang i-double tap and then lalabas na yung kanyang quick memo feature. Pwedeng-pwede rin tayong mag ng applications guys. Actually, pwedeng dalawa or kung gusto nyo hanggang tatlo pa ng sabay-sabay. Of course, this will help you to be more productive. And of course, the Huawei Share. Kung meron kayong Huawei smartphone, guys, that runs the latest EMUI 10. For example, we want to share some content. Pwede tayo mag-drag and drop ng files. If you want a bigger display, guys, sa paglaro nyo ng games, pwedeng-pwede rin natin siyang gawin dito. And then it has an EMUI 10 based on Android 10. As for the apps, guys, kung curious kayo kung paano yung siya lalagyan ng applications, unang-una, pwede nyo gawin yung phone clone app. Actually, ginawa ko to doon sa Huawei P40 Pro ko to get my previous applications sa previous Android devices ko. Or pwede nyo rin i-download yung inyong applications through APK Pure, isa siyang third-party APK website. And as of what I did here, guys, nag-download ako ng APK Pure app para dito ko i-download yung ibang applications na hindi available sa Huawei App Gallery. And speaking of App Gallery, guys, of course, dito ko din-download yung ibang applications na kailangan ko dito sa tablet na to. And also, guys, ito yung mga editing applications that you can download in App Gallery. Like, we have the VidMate, WPS Office, PixArt, Beauty Plus, Filmora Go, VLC, UCut, and Viva Video. And of course, the desktop UI. Actually, isa to sa pinaka-favorite feature ko sa tablet na to. And minsan, guys, nakakalimutan ko na tablet pala yung ginagamit ko whenever na I'm using the desktop mode. Same with my Huawei smartphones, guys. Hindi ko masyadong naging problema yung lack of Google Play niya. So, yes, pwedeng-pwede mo parang gamitin yung Huawei MatePad Pro mo like any other tablet na meron tayo ngayon. Like, for example, writing documents. Pag gusto nyo manood ng YouTube or Netflix. Ngayon, Mary, magkano ba yung Huawei MatePad Pro? Actually, guys, the MatePad Pro itself lang ha, hindi po kasama ganyan yung keyboard and the M Pencil. It's 32,990 pesos. Para sa akin guys, parang gusto kong ilinya itong Huawei MatePad Pro as an affordable flagship. For 32,990 pesos, and kung i-compare natin siya again with the iPad Pro, it almost offer the same features. Actually, mas gusto ko pa nga yung ibang features na to, like, like for example, the Huawei Share and the desktop mode. So again, as I always do, I will be giving you guys my pros and cons sa kanya. Una-una, battery life. It's exceptional. Matagal kong nagamit itong tablet na to. Even if I'm gaming at madamag akong nanonood ng mga k-drama. Pangalawa, of course, the full view screen display. As I mentioned earlier, meron po siyang 90% screen to body ratio. And ganitong klase ng setup display yung hinahanap ko sa mga tablet. Pangatlo, of course, good audio experience as you heard kanina. And of course, last but not the least, the Huawei Share. Since I'm already inside the Huawei ecosystem, guys, it's making me more productive. Now, for the cons, of course, wala naman po tayong perfect device. Unang-una, hindi siya masyadong big deal, but to some people na walang 40 watt power brick. Medyo matagal siyang mag fully charge kasi guys for a 20 watt power brick na kasama sa kanya sa box. So you might want to consider this. Pangalawa, wala po siyang headphone jack but I appreciate na may kasama po siyang dongle sa box niya. Because again, yung mga tablet ng halimbawa na lang ng iPad Pro wala rin po siyang headphone jack plus kailangan mo pang bumili separately sa kanilang store ng dongle. So Mary, overall masasabi mo ba na pwede namin siyang going alternative sa iPad Pro. Actually, yes. It's a flagship premium tablet na hindi ganun kamahal. If we were to compare yung prices nila guys, doble ng presyo nito yung iPad Pro. Hindi lang yung tablet mismo guys, but also the accessories. Also, if you are already in the Huawei ecosystem, it's a really great tablet guys to consider buying. So ayan guys, again, thank you so much po for watching my unboxing and review of the Huawei Mate Pad Pro. And again, it's your Tagal Mary and see you on the next one. Bye guys!